which is license protected, which means you could only use it this week and then it was gone. Um, actually, because of the problems of installation, uh, I called somebody from DHI India, who is one of these geniuses with computers, and he managed to install, uh, to provide these ex installation files for one which is without dongle. It's a little bit limited, not so much. It, it doesn't, I think I mentioned, instead of using the full database PostgreSQL, it uses a smaller one. But it means that you can take this with you, so if you want to use it for projects or other things afterwards, you can just keep that. So keep those installation files. Right? What we'll do today is install, which some of you have already done. Then there's a standard exercise that was made for the full version. And it's a little bit different than this one. So whether exactly we can follow it step by step, we'll see. But much of it we can do. And then there's an exercise that I made on some of this data from Malawi. Uh, which we also may have to change, but we'll see. Um, I just borrowed a laptop here which doesn't have any of the software. So now I will make the installation here, and if you haven't already done so, you do the same. So what you do in the folder called MyInfo, there are three files, and the one called Setup, you just start, and basically just say yes and next and I accept and whatever, right? So we'll see. That'll take a while. So, yes. But it should be reasonably straightforward. And I think some have already done it. 
Um, what I install is not just the one program, but a few parallel programs, including one for managing databases. So once we've done this, we're going to open that utility and create a new database. Um, there is, uh, you should also have on your, on your computer a folder called handouts. Yeah? So handouts is here. Um, in, inside that is data for exercises, and there are a number of, of other files. If you don't have that, see if you can get it. I put the um, I, I put the, the presentations in PDF on one of these actually. Let's see if it's this one. Because so some have, some may have copied it, but maybe not everybody. Because there were di different dongles, different uh, moving around. Yeah. There's another blue pin drive somewhere. Blue pen drive? Mm, maybe with your colleague. Hmm? The PDF files, we can have it from the Yeah, but I was thinking also in parallel while we're waiting. Maybe your colleague has it. No, not that way. Machine. Okay. But 32 bit would work fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but with this one, actually, with the, with the other one. What I had yeah. planned, they wouldn't have, right? But, but uh, uh, still, it takes a while, but yeah. Hmm. And you're still running over there, I can see. Others are running. No problem so far? No. Okay. Has everybody finished the installation? Yeah? Um, okay. So, oh, still running over there. I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. But what we will need to do then is to create a database, and then we can start work with that. Right? There is on, your, um, on all the computers is a folder called Handout uh, also. Um, I hope. And now it's, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, it's only so <clears throat> handouts, which has like that a number of PDF files and data and so on. Did you get that? It was on the pen drive, which you should have copied. What? No. This is uh, exercises that we're going to do. These also need to be copied. And this was maybe not clearly instructed, but the idea was to copy everything on the pen drive, right? not just the model. Um, yeah. So, do we have the pen drive? Yeah, I'll explain still. But do we, uh, I think now it's uh, it's on that one, and there were some other pen drives that had this thing. Copy everything on these. Well, not any. Jeez, yeah. All right. There were at least two of my, one of my pen drives have disappeared, but then we copied to some others that may have it. Anyway, if you have the handouts on a pen drive, copy it in. Let me just show still what we're going to do to get started. If you start a program, um, hang on, this is the, uh, so it's called database. Data, oops. Yeah, database manager utility, if you can find that. Which opens like this, database manager utility. So it's, a, it's actually, it was installed as part of the mic, but if you just search for it, have you got it? 
Okay. Then you click on the, the only thing you can, which is a server. And then you go down to what's called SQLite, which is the third one. SQLite. Uh, in that, you can then define where. We don't have it, no? I'll just go out again. Cancel and leave this. So you start program, and if you search for program name and write data, then it suggests this one database manager utility. Yeah? Take that one. And then it comes out database manager utility. On the server, you select SQLite. And up here where it says the database folder, there you write a folder where you will keep your database. Maybe keep it together with the software, somewhere where you can find it again. We'll then populate this later on with, with data files and so on. But So a place on the computer that you know where it is. The here. Desktop, Desktop or what you want, yeah. Desktop. I put it like it. The second one you don't change. That's where the, uh, that's the system one. So whatever name and then go OK. How are we doing? Yeah, okay. So you're somewhere and then you go okay. Right. Then it should and then it should come like this. Okay. You have it as well? Yeah. Um, okay. So same thing. Everybody got that? Yeah? So I think most of us are here. Then um, Um, here, then, we create a new database. And what you do is, where well, it says database, you give new, and then you give the name of the database that we will use in this for the training here, right? Uh, that could be anything, uh, but uh, Jian or Jamya, whatever you want to call it. I think I'll call mine Jamya. Uh, it's not, I mean, normally it would be related to, it would be related to wherever you are, or the data you have, but, but now we'll just, some name. You create a new database and give it a name. Do we have that? <laughs> so remember the name of that database. And in here, we're going to add a new, uh, a new setup, you could say. And here I propose that you use the same name as your database. I call mine Jamya. And the type of this is this SQLite. 
Once you've done that, there's only one field left, and that's the name of the database that you selected. So you have a connection name, SQLite, and then your database name. I use the same, I recommend using the same name for the database as the connection, right? No, no, you just, like here, I wrote Jamya and Jamya. That's what I wrote, right? But whatever you call your database, that's what you write here. And your name. That's what I told you. Jamia and your name. Okay. So, but, but whatever you use to create the database just now, same name here, both for the connection and for the database itself. What is the name of the database you said? I said Jamia, yeah. <laughs> 